Hey, it's Robin. And Finn from Nordic. We just left Embedded World 2022. And here's our favorite clips of what we saw inside. So we had a short talk with Florian here at IoT Creators and, and Florian, what's your relationship with the Thingy Dandy One? So actually what we're doing at IoT Creators, we're trying to make the development of mobile IoT applications a little bit easier and this is what we do in workshops, so we're doing this with the Thingy 91 and people are loving it because it's an out-of-the-box platform which they can use to develop their first IoT um, thing. So this isn't what we came for, but this is really nice. They have a pressure sensor that's so accurate, you can tell in which floor this little Lego fixture is. So right now it's on the rooftop, goes to the fitness room, and it's on the ground floor. So very accurate pressure sensor. Very nice. Das findet man dann im Smartphone. Yeah. Dann kann man indoor Navigation machen. They made the environmental sensor for the thingy. They also have a very nice demo involving that sensor and beer. So the sensor detects if the liquid in the tube is alcoholic or non-alcoholic based on the gas it emits. So, it just... It's really cool. Now we've arrived at Fraunhofer. Uh, what we are most interested here is uh, their end and decoding of audio files. So even back in the day, they were involved in developing the MP3 standard. Uh, but what we're interested in now is the low complexity communication codec, which is the codec they're using for Bluetooth Learn Energy Audio. And we've also seen a demo that uses energy harvesting to power an SOC that sends us Bluetooth signals. So very interesting stuff. Thank you. We have yeah, a nice a panel on the collection wall. of yeah. Try and win some t-shirts. Cool. <laughs> We've made it to the Zega booth. Uh, you might know Zega from the J-Link that's basically on every development board, but they don't just do J-Links. So they actually also do production flashes, a whole bunch of development software and extra development tools to help engineers. We just had a look at Murata's boots, and they make these incredibly tiny modules. Room. They made the uh, color and light sensor on the thing 53, and also they have ice cream. So this is Mauser's booth. They sell Nordic components, the thing 53, for instance. Analog devices. They made the low power accelerometer on the thing 53. Uh, so my name is Mike, I'm here at the Goliath booth. Um, another one that people are really interested in these days is OpenThread. And so uh, these are um, layered devices. You can just buy these consumer devices. They have a battery inside of them and they're completely weatherproof. Uh, they have an NRF 52840 and they form a mesh network automatically uh, among themselves uh, that goes out and tries to find what's called a border router. That provides the internet connection. So each of these devices has an IPv6 address. They can connect back to the Goliath cloud they can listen for uh, firmware updates to come down, and when they see a new update, they'll download it, use MCU boot to make sure that it uh, matches the signature because it's secure by default, um, and then automatically uh, load data back onto those. And I think the last one is uh, asset management. Uh, so this is actually running uh, GPS, and it's uh, caching the readings, and every few minutes, it'll connect to uh, cellular and then upload uh, those readings so that you can have um, live mapping come across, and and uh, see what's going on with your assets. Yeah, that's cool. We're here at the Ignion's booth. Uh, and what does Ignion do? 
So we are the company behind the virtual antenna technology, which is making it easy to build a great RF in IoT products. Yeah, and actually they made the antenna that's on the Thingy 91, and they had displayed the Thingy 91 here, right here on the booth. Yeah, we are, we are partnering with Nordic in, in making it easy to uh, develop uh, IoT products. And uh, here the, with the thingy is a great example in, in cellular IoT, where the antenna part it can be quite difficult, but we have made it easy to implement a great RF in, in, in the, these types of IoT products for asset trackers and meters by enabling the technology in the cloud so you can prototype your next antenna in the cloud and already get a simulation performance before you build any hardware, which really makes it a lot easier and faster uh, to, to get on the right path for a great uh, RF design. Hi, I'm Marcin from AV System. We are the company that is focused on uh, the providing device lifecycle management solutions with a special focus on device security, communication reliability, and especially energy efficiency, since we want to build sustainable IoT solutions. Uh, we are covering the aspects of life cycle management from the manufacturing process until the device retirement uh, phase. Mempar solves this problem where you have a fleet of tens of thousands of devices in the field. Sometimes they reboot, you may not even know about it, mm -hmm. and you um, don't know why. And Mempal gives you all the details as if the device was connected to a local um, debugger, GDB, while developing it. And we're integrating into the NCS. So a single K contact flag and you get all of that out of the box. So this is a Novi's booth? We develop uh, power management ICs. One of the really exciting projects we've had actually is with Norlex Thingy 91. Um, and we made it uh, energy autonomous by adding an add-on board with our chip and solar panel on top. That's really cool. <laughs> so we at the Wirepass booth, and what they do is very good IoT. So the new NR Plus standard is a super cool standard, and our first non-cellular 5G implementation, 5G mesh, will be available later this year and early next year, and it's going to enable some killer applications like smart metering, smart city lighting, and, and HVAC systems. And that concludes our reporting from Energy World 2022. We had a great time at the trade show and hope to see you all again there next year. So like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want us to keep making content like this, tell us in the comments down below. You can also go to devzone.nordicsemi.com to read a blog post we wrote about the same trade show. Thank you for watching.